Hey guys, Leeds TV here. I'm going to show you how to kill the Sanctuary Guardian. Now this is for the uh, Artorias of the Abyss. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Uh, DLC. Um, he, this guy includes a new weapon. He's the only boss you can cut his tail off, actually, and he's not even a dragon. So the way I avoid a lot of his attacks is I try to roll towards him, but off to the side a little bit for majority of his attacks, and I kind of just swoop right by him. He has a few attacks that you don't need to roll for, uh, like his lightning attack here. Uh, you can just walk to the side, and you'll be able to just walk right over the range of that. Whenever it hits the water, it's going to disperse in the water, and it could damage you, but not as bad as if it hits you directly. But you are going to want some lightning damage reduction for whenever he does hit you with his lightning attacks. Uh, just something on your armor or something like that. So if you notice, I've cut off his tail. Uh, what I usually do before I try to even work behind him to attack his tail is I wait for him to bring his horns down like that in a charging stance. And then I just roll slightly to the side and towards him. And he'll shoot right past me and he'll stop right as I'm looking at his tail. And that's a great opportunity to just start whacking on his tail. So a lot of his other attacks, um, his his horn attacks, everything like that, you can dodge just by rolling the same way you've been rolling to dodge everything else. The only attack that he has that it seems to where like this dodge isn't as effective is the attack to where he swipes at you with his left paw, right paw, left paw, and it's just it's really hard to dodge by rolling towards him. So the way I dodge that is I roll to the sides, left or right. I just roll out of the way like that, and I just keep rolling. Uh, his wind blast attack, if you have your shield out, it will stun you during all your stamina. Uh, you don't want that to happen, so I just, whenever I see him about to throw his wings forward and hit him with his wind blast, I roll towards him and just start hitting him in the face. I'll hit him once, maybe twice in the face, and then I'll roll away just to try and make sure that his counterattack isn't going to hit me. Uh, or I'll roll forward and to the side because if he is attacking that's the easiest way to dodge most of his attacks. So this guy doesn't really drop anything special other than his soul. It doesn't actually uh, create any type of weapons or anything like that. Uh, you can consume it for 12,000 souls but that's about it. So thanks for watching guys. This is Elite Speak TV. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see some more Dark Souls.